guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is December 25th, um, and I am going to start reading We Were Liars. Basically just going to be a little reading vlog of me um, trying to finish the book and my little reviews about it along the way because I love a winter mystery, um, and I love a winter mystery and everything, so I'm really excited about this book, and I've been going on like a little vacation thing this week. And I love reading on flights. So, I just started on chapter 2, or I just got to chapter 2, um, I, if you cannot see the time lapse, I was really falling asleep, um, because it's like midnight something, um, so, definitely probably not the best time to start a book, but I wanted to at least start it so that I wasn't like holding off more, like, oh, I haven't started, so I can wait forever to start it, so I did start it. And I feel like this is going to be a fast-paced book because just already in the first chapter, they already did a good job at in introducing the setting, the characters, the actual scene, and the plot of everything. So I just have a, a feeling that it's going to be a quick pace. Hey guys, it's the 26th. Um, I just went out and bought this book. It's 99 Days. This is a summary book, so I'll be reading this time. I won't be reading this soon, but just thought I'd let you guys know. I think we are going to continue reading that right now for a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'll do another little time lapse of that. So last night, um, we stayed at a hotel and I read like a little bit before I went to bed because I just like, like to read. Sorry, the card's a mess. We're on a road trip. So I, it's kind of like a little bit hard to follow just because like it's from multiple point of views. So not the easiest to read right now at the beginning just because of the point of views and they also like switch quickly. It's not like you get a whole chapter of one person. It's like two pages and then it switches. So then I'm like... Wait, I'm still stuck on the last person. You know, it's a little bit harder to follow. You know, I've been in the car for a while, which I probably would have finished the book by now. I don't want to get sick, so I'll update you guys later. It's January 1st. Um, I just got back from my little vacation thing and I, don't, I haven't really been vlogging as I've been reading it because I read a lot of it on the plane yesterday and I finished it yesterday. So I will do a little bit of a better review tomorrow. But the book was pretty good. Um, probably like 3.5 or 4 stars. Um, it was a little bit hard to follow at first but it was like a good ending kept me interested it was like a very quick read because it i mean i read it in like two days and i like the characters so i'm assuming that the next one's going to be like that hey guys it's the 4th of january let's ignore the look i kind of just woke up but um i'm reading one of this is next i'm about 
30 something pages in about three chapters in um and so far like it's not what i was expecting because i thought it was gonna be because it like was supposed it's like the second book of the series so i would assume that would continue on the same characters and like a new mystery or something or i don't know but it's not like that like it's like some of them it's like their sibling i don't know so definitely not what i thought and i definitely wish that it kept the same characters because i was really a fan of the characters and stuff hey guys it is january 12th 12th um and sorry and i haven't vlogged in a while because i haven't really been reading my book so well i'll i'll, I'll up to you guys but i, I want to try to read it on saturday because i'm not gonna be kind of bored so Anyways, but I do want to give you a haul really quick, because I got two books today that were on my TBR, and I know this is like a reading vlog, but it can also be like a book haul, you know? So, I got The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I, I'm, I was going to say I love her books. I meant to say I've heard like a lot about her books. I have like four of her books on my TBR. I have The Unhoneymooners, Soulmate Equation. Um, I have another one. In other words, I think. And then, they, she also had like Holidays, which I know is popular too. So I got that book, definitely going to get more of her books, because these are all like on my TBR for this year, like I'm planning to read them this year. The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. This might be something that I read kind of soon, because like, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. Oh, see the thing is, is all these small books have like really, really tiny words, so that's probably why. Very much like adds up, but. So we're adding this to my little list of what I own, and Shatter Me is coming in tomorrow. The whole series so i think we're gonna read that next because i kind of want to read it really hey bad. guys it is january 15th the day that this video is supposed to be up so we're hoping that i can still do that i'm gonna try to edit it today but i'm gonna give my reviews because why not um i also would like to say i am like kind of sick like a cold and stuff so if i sound different or if i look gross that's yeah. why sorry i had to grab the books um but yeah, here we have both of the books, and I'm going to give a review. This is spoiler-free, so we're going to do book by book. I will say, I did not finish this book because it wasn't that great, but we'll get to that later. Um, I also want to say, like, I don't want to offend anybody. This is just my personal opinion. Like, if you guys love the series, that's great. I gave this book a 3, 3.5 stars. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. A very quick read, I will say that <clears throat> it was not like, like I, like sometimes mysteries can be really slow, like the build up to it, and this one happened really quickly, it was good, and the only thing I don't like about like mysteries usually is like once you solve the mystery, then the book is just like boring, but I feel like they solved it, and they didn't add like a ton of extra stuff after, so I like was still interested to read till the end. Now onto some bad stuff about it, the characters... The, there was four different perspectives, so I did talk about this before, but it was kind of confusing to follow because they would switch really quickly. Like, it would be Bronwyn, and then, like, two or three pages later, it would switch to somebody else. So, that was, like, a little bit hard to follow at first, at least. I feel like the book was a little bit overhyped because I know this was talked about a lot, and it was good, but it wasn't, like, anything amazing. But this was a lot of, like, stereotypes, and, like, that was kind of the point, but then at some point, like, they actually, like, fed into the stereotypes. It wasn't, like... People think I'm like this, but I'm completely not. Like, they kind of fed into it and, like, made the stereotype real and made me think more stereotypes. But not completely. Not completely. It had a good mix, I guess. Um, there was some romance in it, mystery, very high school. Like, it was pretty realistic to high school, I feel like. Um, One of Us is Next. I didn't finish. I read to page, like, 80. It didn't get anywhere. Like, page 80 was still not getting us much so um the only thing i was disappointed about i think this kind of ruined the book for me is that the they made it seem like it was a sequel so that there would be like the same characters but it's a completely different book these could be read alone you could read this one and not this one or you could read this one and not this one like they do not really go together a ton i mean yes they are in like the same like world they go to the same school but the characters in the first book are like in college you don't see them really at all the only similarity is that one of the characters in this book is related to a different character in the other book. They reference a few times the people in the book. So if you're planning to read the first book 
and you just don't know which one to do it like which order to do it in definitely like you should read this book because this book kind of spoils a little bit of that but but i would recommend the first one not really the second one you guys might have different opinions on that so you guys can look through as many different things as you want and make your own decision on this but i was a fan of the first one not really the second one that's that's just my take so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully this is helpful i'm gonna try to do some more reading vlogs um because i'm gonna get the shadow me series soon and start reading that soon so i'll probably vlog that um but yeah that's all okay bye guys